Hi, all my friends from YouTube. Today, we're gonna to talk about how big the Pulsar turbocharger really is. After my initial video, a lot of you guys had had questions, and as you can tell from maybe some of the views from that previous video, a lot of you guys are interested in this thing. I think the best way I'm gonna be able to do this is actually use a tape measure, lay this on the ground, and show you at different angles, kind of like, what the dimensions are because sometimes it's really tricky and I think you guys are concerned about whether this thing is actually gonna fit in your engine bay and fit with your manifold. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also gonna go over what the actual thread pitch is for the coolant ports that go into this thing. Um, just because I had a guess and I guessed correctly. Yes. But uh, just to cut the work out for you guys to do that, we'll go through all of that stuff. So. I'm gonna try to set up the camera and try to get the best angle and give you some measurements. All right, guys, so this is what I got set up here. Um, I got, a, got this kind of set up like a point of view uh, for you. That way you can simulate the same things. Um, I'm just gonna do a top-down shot of what the dimensions are. Now, granted, this is looking through the camera, so it might not be perfect for you to see, but just trust me, I'm doing all the measurements here. Um, and just to give you an orientation visually of what we're taking measurements of, that's why we're doing the video. So from left to right on the compressor housing, from the outer edge to the back part, we're looking at seven and a quarter. Yeah, seven and a quarter. And then I'll do from here to there, I'll turn the sideways. That way you can follow along up to this nub right here, which you could probably grind off. I don't know if there's anything really in there. Well, I guess that is a bolt on the other side, so you can't grind that off. Don't grind it off. Um, we're looking at seven inches that way, from the outside of here to the outside of there, and then flange to the outer part. We're looking at about eight inches from the flange here, out there, just so we're on camera here. This is a four inch opening. That's where you put your filter on or your screen. Coming over and rotating this direction, I'll prop this up with my knee. We have this set up and that dimension looks to be, I'm gonna call that seven and three quarter from this flange to this flange, that's seven and three quarter wide. <clears throat> rotating this over, doing the same thing we're looking at six and a half inches from here to here on the hot side. We'll rotate that again. And then from the top side, we're looking at five and a half inches from top of the snail to the bottom of the snail. And then to the flange, to the outside of the housing, looking at five and three quarter there. And then this opening is three and a half, as you can see on camera. Um, and then just for posterity's sake here, this is three inches to the outside of that flange. This is two and a half on the compressor housing. So now that we got all those dimensions, I'm hoping that you can make sense of them because I've gotten a lot of comments asking how big this thing actually is and if I can send them measurements, um, which I've tried. Uh, so hopefully this visual reference kind of helps you guys out a little bit more. The other thing that I want to show you too is I did all the work of figuring out what water fittings fit into this thing. Now I'm using AN fittings, as you can see. Um, I got these AN fittings off of Amazon. They were nine bucks a piece. They came with a steel washer with a, it actually has a rubber insert in the middle of it, which is really nice. Um, and I got these, they're called K motor um, and they're 14 M14 by one and a half thread, six AN fittings, bought two of them. They were like nine bucks a piece. And then on this side, I ended up making my own dump tube, um, flange plate here or whatever you want to call it drain uh and i just made this out of a piece of uh you know one of those what are they called hose barbs and i end up 
drilling a hole through a piece of aluminum, smashing it through, and it's super tight and it, it'll work great. It'll be nice and flush. But the bolts that go through here, the thread on these is M8-125, 1.25. Um, and there's two of them. Now I did uh, crush, I think they're called swivel washers or whatever. I bought these eight millimeter swivel washers. They're not perfectly flat. They're supposed to help them stay in there and prevent them from backing out. Um, I'm probably gonna put some Loctite on these guys just to prevent them from backing out. It'll be high heat. But other than that, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope this really helps. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one, I guess. Later. Bye.